I think the, I guess every every film is personal. I guess in one or another way, whatever whatever you make a film about, it's always personal. But I have a feeling, or at least in my experience with my previous films, this goes a step further on personal. It was it was a, a need. I, I was there was a, the, the, the desperation to tell a, a story. There was desperation to express myself, and I guess as a artist, I guess. You have a yeah, that's obligation, but it's also there was a need to 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 tell that story. I was I was uh, there was a, there's no need to tell a story. There was a need to express myself. I had a, I was desperate to tell how I feel because somehow when you tell it, when you put it together, then it makes sense. Or when you put the puzzles together for yourselves in a film, then you see suddenly at the end like oh that's that's what it is, and this is how it felt for me. I was feeling uh, restless, uh, and I had the need to. I thought of this: the past behind me. I have a child now, and I have to put the puzzles together to see to be able to go on. I have a responsibility as a mother to be a complete person and to go on in life. Uh, so this is what this film is for me. So it was more than a, it was more than a film that, that needs to tell that story. Made me question the narratives that I was repeating to myself, uh, like we all do, you know, especially when you have this extreme kind of life, you have a, you, you have a, you constantly ask where you're from, what happened, what did you do, and you keep on telling the stories and you don't question the, the stories behind, you just tell the facts, and those facts lose meaning at certain point, and they just become a story. And you don't question the, the, the emotions behind that story, and this is what I ha this is what this film is about. Because the, 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 there's so many, the facts is one thing, and they really are irrelevant at a certain point. What there really is is how you experience, how you experienced your life, and what brought you where you are now, and what made you who you are. And this is what I had to question to be able to make that film. So when I went to Sarajevo, and I saw that so many people felt exactly the way I felt. I thought, you see, I'm not lonely. But the fact that other people in a in a outside world feel for the film is very important on different level. It, it it's very important as a filmmaker, as a actually storyteller. And the very important thing is that allowing yourself to to really uh, make yourself fragile make yourself vulnerable is something that that is uh, that translates obviously because I told I tell a story about you know I was a dreamer I had the dreams and they collapsed and everyone has that when you're 10 10 15 20 you have those dreams and everyone has the dreams and you don't need the war to break them the life breaks them because dreams have to remain dreams they're never going to be reality because the life is... I mean, you can dream to be a professional uh, footballer and you may even become a professional footballer, but that dream of how you thought it's going to be, it's different once you become that. So you don't need a war to destroy that purple picture and then that's what I think translates people, is that, uh, that the kind of uh, fragility that we, in everyday life, try to fight it because it's... Uh, because it's so hard and tough, so you can't allow yourself to be fragile. And then when, when you, the, the film is all full of fragilities, and I think that's what people connect to. Eastern Neighbors, neighbors is absolutely, for, for filmmaker for, from that part of the world, does feel at home. And because that, that, that does, it's not a, home is not a place anymore, it's really the collection of people that you at certain point find, and that's what I definitely find here. It feels... It's like feels like a pancake <laughs> on Sunday morning. <laughs>